Hey everyone, Rick Ninja Productions back with another video review. And today it's gonna be on the McFarlane Halo I think series three Master Halo 2 Master Chief. I think this figure is from series three. I don't know. Now it's already Halo 4 line. Now there are actually two figures in it. There's this one, as well as the uh, cloak master well, actually, the Master Chief with the cloak that appeared in the Halo 5 trailer. Um, and all I gotta admit is this figure is awesome. I mean, that's all I have to say. This figure is amazing. I cannot tell you how amazed I am by this figure. I mean, he comes with a lot of accessories, actually, amazing articulation, and the, yeah, the detail. Though I will admit, it's almost a hundred. It's almost a hundred percent perfect. Almost. But anyway, let's get to the figure. Right now, I'm just gonna take off the accessories. I'll just show you the accessories first. Just take them off. He comes with these two. Brute plasma rifles, and his hands are molded to hold them both, though they fit kind of loosely. But yeah, these two I heard that they are actually a lot more stronger, but they burn out faster than the normal plasma rifles that the elites use. And yes, I have played the Halo games if you haven't, if you were wondering. Uh. My mom just walked into my room. Sorry about that. Anyway, these two are strong, but they burn out faster than the elite ones. But yeah, he comes with two SMGs. They can also hold. Now, on one of mine, I don't know if you can see me on this one, it has the trigger guard. This one, I actually cut off, and I should have never done that since, well, yeah, it was a stupid mistake I did, but they have weapon pegs that you can put on, and he comes with his battle rifle. Really nice. Again, also with the weapon peg, and the weapon pegs can come out, but I'm not going to take them out, I'm just going to leave them in. So yeah, finally he comes with a frag grenade. Now it's really small, but actually nice detail on it. So it's hard to see since it's so tiny. But yeah, and if you're wondering, I'm still a bit stuffed up. Sorry about that, but still. Yeah, it's small. Now... On the figure, he has a hole on his back, holes on his legs, and two holes on his on the back of his waist, where you could peg the frag grenade in, like so. You could plug in the uh, battle rifle and the SMGs on the side. Now, unfortunately, he does not come with two with another frag grenade. But good news, instead of trying to like buy another one of these, you have like a plasma grenade like this one. Like this one, it's capable of pegging on right here. So, so that way he can have a plasma grenade with him, not just a frag grenade. But yeah, and he has his hands are molded to hold these. One thing though, on mine, I actually had the trigger fingers were stuck like this. I actually had to take an exacto knife and separate this finger from the rest. So, to make a proper trigger finger. Uh, it, no, the SMGs actually fit a lot better in his right hand than in his left. 
which I don't get why. Now, I actually, the right hand wasn't that bad. The left hand for the trigger finger was actually difficult. Let's put that in the hand like so. Since you actually have to take the finger, I'll do all the off camera. You have to take the finger and try to fit it in the actual gun, the trigger guard. And it's not an easy thing to do at all. And I just knocked out the battle rifle. <clears throat> there we go. So yeah, he can hold the SMGs and he can also hold the battle rifle, but um eh, nothing wrong with that. Take them out of his hands. I'm just gonna take the battle rifle off. Anyway, for his articulation, he has a the one problem with the head, it comes off really easily. I mean it has a load of pop, but it's easy to pull off. Though you do get a lot of movement in the head, it's only dull. It's on a double ball peg joint, one in the neck and one in the head, so you can do a lot of poses with the, with him. His arms can move in and out, all the way around. His elbow can bend, it can rotate. His wrist can move up and down, it can rotate all the way around. He has the upper torso joint, it moves back and forth, side to side. His legs can move forward and back. Now, these joints are actually a lot better than the other ones that McFarlane puts on them. I mean, those joints are just terrible. Though, one thing, his legs don't really go outward a lot, but... Oh, well. He can bend at the knee, rotate at the knee. His ankles can move forward, forward and back. It can rotate here. And it can rotate here. And his toes can move up and down, rotate, and move side to side. So, a ball peg jointed toe. So, he has great articulation. Now, and crazy enough, this is actually a much taller Master Chief figure than the uh, Halo 4 one. I mean, the Halo 4 one wasn't was out of scale. Badly out of scale. But. I'll just I'll just get a figure to compare them with. Okay, and if you're hearing that squeaking sound, I'm on a very old chair. But still, these weapons are here. God damn it! Anyway, here's Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead TV show. God damn it. As you can see, Daryl is actually a lot shorter. Hold on a minute. Take the, gun out. Take the crossbow out of his hand. Daryl is a lot shorter than Master Chief, and he should be, since Master Chief is supposed to be seven feet tall. Again, the skill, it's not perfect, but it works a whole lot better. See, Master Chief towers over him, and he sh and Master Chief should. Anyway, uh, get there all the way. Really nice figure. If you can find him, go ahead and grab him. And, and oh, I forgot to mention that he can hold his grenades as well. So yeah, pick the figure up and you can find them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.